Hey, in the building, this is the Unfaded Podcast, where we listen to you and ignore you all at the same time. Time for yet another episode just for the family. This is episode number 74. Woo-hoo! Shout out to everybody. Uh, watching live and uncut on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for rocking with us again. I need y'all to stay locked in with us today. We got a lot of topics going on. Tristan Thompson allegedly cheated on Khloe Kardashian. Yes. Talking about that tonight. So basically the question is, would you get involved in your siblings cheating business? And if you caught your sister or brother-in-law's boyfriend or girlfriend cheating, would you tell? Another topic we got, a new school in Chicago is being built on top of an unmarked grave filled with 38,000 dead bodies. BET's rebooting a classic Eddie Murphy movie as a TV series, so stay locked in with us and let us know what you think. So what's been up, L.A.? You know, a lot. I... Last week I had uh, day one of the auditions for In A Man's World, which will be coming out in June, uh, stage monologues. So I'm really excited for that. A uh, week was very busy, but next week is going to be like lit. So Shout out pray to that I have the energy to go through the entire week, which I know I will. Right. But yeah. And yo, we got a special guest yes. with us tonight, kicking it with us. He's always shouting us out on his show. And I was like, you know what? I was thinking about it today. I'm like, yo, we got to bring him in and see if he'll rock with us, at least for the episode. But he's always welcome if that's what he wants to do. (laughs) What's up? I can't read it that far, but. Hazzy Zuby. All right, what's up? Set a one man team. There we go. (laughs) So say what's up to the people, Mar. He's always shouting us out. Yo, what's good, everybody? This your boy, Mar. Host of Big Time Sports with Mar. The podcast over on Facebook Live. All right. Hey, Myron, we got some, some kickback. Hold on one second. Is that me? Okay. Go. All right, one more that time, Myron. That was <laughs> That was uh, me. Yeah. <laughs> LA over here. I give her one computer. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen all the screens, I got to handle So anyways, what was that? Say what's up to the people, Myron. <laughs> <laughs> you told LA she had one job. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you had one job to do, no, no, that. No, in all seriousness, this is Myron from uh, the Big Time Sports with Myron podcast over on Facebook Live. It's an honor to be with you guys tonight. Always. You know, you guys are my favorites, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Shout out to Thank you. Thank you. Man. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, Myron, he does, you know, the wrestling talk, basketball talk, football, right? Football, too, I think. Uh, everything everything hockey if 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 people are everything. interested in hockey right awesome big up Absolutely. from london wow we got a listener all the way from london big london, up to london, you london london what's up welcome to bandit box unfaded podcast good to have you so y'all so what's been going on this week anything new y'all want to share before we get heavy i took I tell you, I tell you, for me, it's 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 been wild, man. You know, you know, everything was crazy. You know, you know, I've been uh, working on some new songs and 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 and, and, and gearing up for the you know the Cavs playoff run. Oh, Obviously, lost shit. a, but you know, but we, you know, back to work Wednesday, and we 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 see what happens, you know, from here in Cleveland, but. You know, it's 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 just it's crazy. So much going on in the in the in, in the world, man. Just mm-hmm. in, in, in your topics tonight, even cover all, all that. It's crazy. Yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of everything. Y'all got y'all really got to check out Myron's show because, man, if you want to get caught up on some you know some sports talk and and really get a you know a feel for what's going on, check that out. You know, yeah, check yeah. out his show because you will quickly understand <laughs> exactly what's going on. Yeah. So what's been going on with you, LA? I, I already said it. <laughs> oh, okay. My bad. Yeah, you were, uh, you know, yeah, working on the audition and stuff. Yo, I miss church today, and I don't know about y'all on Instagram and on Facebook, but I miss church today, and I blame Beyonce for putting on Damn Beyonce. one of the craziest performances last night at Coachella. <laughs> Dang it. She had me it was, it, it, wide it awake. Wild. Like, Wide awake at 4.30 in the morning, just walking around the living room, just like, 
it was literally 4.30 Tweeting. in the morning. <laughs> we was up. Beyonce, <laughs> she tore it up. Like, I was not expecting anything like what she did um, last night on Coachella. Like, she completely dominated beyond my expectations. Right. Oh, I was just wanting, to, wanting you to show me the chat room on Facebook. Oh, mm-mm, nothing. Oh. Yeah, I need you to... Okay, okay. <laughs> so, there you go. There we go. Ta-da. But yeah, but that performance was crazy. I mean, you know, she was representing the HBCUs. Yes. Um, You're going to see a whole lot of yellow... Um, is he back there, see, like, mowing a lawn or something? <laughs> like, what is happening? You're going to see a whole lot of uh, yellow sweatshirts all of a sudden. It's going to be crazy. Right. Like, no, no. Right. Somebody's going to go design that for their clothing line. <laughs> There's gonna be a whole lot of enrollments to HBCUs this upcoming yeah. semester. Uh, there's gonna be a bunch of people trying to start step teams, stomp the yard, drum line is gonna be back. Like she, whew. and then she, and then she but brought you, out Destiny's Child. Right, right. Now I heard the rumors that they were gonna right. be here, but after a while, I was sitting there. I was like, they ain't coming out. <laughs> <laughs> They're not coming out. It's, it's too, it's too, it went on way too long. She was, uh, you know, it was what, almost an hour, hour into it before they came out. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Non-stop performance. She did not take a break f- for like the entire hour singing. And she didn't skip a beat. Like, she didn't look tired at all. She what kind sweat? of workout no, regimen is she on? She didn't sweat, nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I need to know what she on, does. Though. Then again, I, I, then again, no, I don't. Because I'm, she probably gonna kill me. I'm gonna die if if I ever have her workout hey, tape. Well, that's a hey, eleven hour. <laughs> she did eleven hour rehearsals. That'll do that for you. That is true. And everybody was on point. So shout out to everybody, the yeah. crew, the dancers. Y'all did a, a really. Oh good yeah, job. absolutely. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine I saw on Facebook that I went to uh, college with. She was actually there filming. Wow. So shout out to her. Shout out to Lacelle. I don't know if you'll. You'll see this episode or whatnot, but shout out to you. Congratulations on that. She was on the Jay-Z tour, too, for a while. So, what? You know. Connections, Shay One? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say all that, <laughs> but. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. Have y'all, I was talking you with You never know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, actually, I had some, uh, some drinks with some friends from work. Mm-hmm. That was interesting. I never usually do that. People what? invite me out for like little things like that. I'm like, eh, nah, I got work to do. I'm gonna go home. But um, we got to talking about Uber, Uber Eats. Okay. And one of my coworkers was saying like, yeah, they ordered some food, and the driver said, yeah, I, you know, I almost ate y'all food because I was looking for the plates. But when what? they when they got the bag. It, it was like some fries was missing. <laughs> so he like slipped so in and got like some fries. <laughs> picking at the food. <laughs> And then he, <laughs> what he meant to say was, I almost ate all your food, not I almost ate your food. That is, yeah. just, that is just disrespectful. <laughs> and, and he told him that, like, yeah. which means you're not going to get a tip and you're going to get a bad rate rating. Like, I just on. thought that was funny. I didn't know if anybody else had any I got to tell like you, that. though, I, I have driven for Uber Eats uh, a couple times. And one time I had to go pick up some food from McDonald's. And you know when McDonald's does that fresh batch mm-hmm. of fries, the smell, it was fresh and it was tempting, but I did not. Oh, no. I did not eat any of the fries. You didn't eat, I, you didn't eat one. I didn't eat any. Not at all. I tried. I, I almost did. It smelled so good. You sure? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. I promise. <laughs> Thank you, promise for myself. Oh, okay. And the you know, you Lord. Have, remember, you had one job. <laughs> <laughs> I did not eat it, but it smelled good. Yeah, you, so. can't, you can't do that job on an empty stomach. No, you, you cannot. You cannot. Not at all. Make sure you eat before you go driving for Uber Eats. <laughs> Fuck around and eat these people's Another food. thing I saw in the news, I'm trying to flip through them real quick. This white lady paid thousands of dollars to become a black woman. I don't know if y'all saw that picture. I, I yeah. saw it. She looked plastic and the thing you know Terrible. she had like extra large boobs <laughs> an extra big butt and she like changed the name i just thought that was crazy i'm like white people are probably the only ones that could do like this interchangeable what's it called transracial 
Right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it was like it was lightweight scary when I saw it. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Right. It's a, it's a lot of black folks out here that would probably be trying to, you know, be transracial. But <laughs> even but even her black like the complexion still looked, yeah, it looked bad. Off. It just it, it just wasn't working. It wasn't authentic. Yeah. It wasn't original. It just it, as you said, it looked like plastic. She and why would she try to go but why would she go thing. there? Go ahead, Myra. No, no, I'm sorry. But that, it, that's amazing to me when people spend all of that money. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then you spend all that money, and then it comes out not looking the way it's supposed to. <laughs> then what's the use of spending all the money? I. Well, they think it looks good, so... Um, at the end of the day, that's all that matter, I guess. Because yeah. you you see a lot of crazy stuff out here in these streets. You know, she gonna have an experience. Outfits and she gonna want to switch back eventually. Watch. <laughs> I hope mm-hmm. it can't change. <laughs> <laughs> she get stuck like that. Stuck it's like that it's like the movie Black Like Me. I don't know if y'all ever seen that back in the day. Like it's a, it's a black and white movie. Yes. So like in school, you saw it, Myron. <laughs> Yeah, I saw it. Okay, yeah, what it do <laughs> that in black and white that shit looked fake. Like <laughs> <laughs> she looked really bad. Right, right, right. She did look bad. Christina said it I don't What's oh. up, Christina? What's up, cuz? Of all looks, like it's just sweetie, just stop. Stop. Right. Ugh, I don't know what else to say to that. Like I'm telling you, I hope she gets stuck that way. <laughs> she probably will. I mean I want her to. <laughs> hey. Hopefully she didn't get that shit on credit because they try to repossess all that ass. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be, you know, that'd be messed up. Right. <laughs> but uh, but let's get into the drop. Oh, every time. <laughs> That's why I, I was supposed to do it. Right. Hey, well, you were slipping a little bit at the beginning, anyway, but I know you're going to redeem yourself. Thank you. All right. So the drop for this week is presented by Closet 18. So listen, guys, there's so much going on today. If you're not watching the news or just hearing from your coworkers, like, I don't know if you're just living it under a rock, but there's a lot going on in our society. And the one thing you want to do is make a statement. And one of the ways you can do that is with your clothing. So Closet 18 creates affirmation based apparel that does more than the average shirt, average hoodie, whatever it is. They design clothing that will inspire you and anyone looking. So what you want to do is go to closet18.com that's closet18.com use coupon code banded box that's b-a-n-d-e-d-b-o-x for 10 percent off your entire order yes. so shout out to closet 18 closet 18 i gotta get me one of them crown shirts buddy. you do gotta you gotta get, get all of them <laughs> but yes so let's get into the drop as i said all right now Smoke Diz is dropping his 12 track album called Not For Sale. Um, a major follow up to his collaboration with Pete Rock in 2016 called Don't Smoke Rock. Don't Smoke Rock, y'all. That's Don't Smoke Rock. You don't want to look like Pookie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> From, don't Smoke um, Rocks. What was that? What was that? Uh, I'm mixing up the movie. New Jack City. Thank you. I'm about to say, don't look at me. New Jack City. Yeah, don't. <laughs> you about to see. Cause I'm about to get her later on if y'all been watching the show before. Shut but, up. Um, he also has an EP um, that came out last time, uh, Ring Size 6. Um, he has a song called The Love featuring Ty Dolla Sign. It's out right now, and it's this nice, smooth head nodder. You got the hookup. There's another single highlighting Don Kennedy and Kaz. Um, in an interview with Billboard, Dizza said, My inspiration comes from classic golden era rap and R&B, so I wanted to give my fans the sound that inspired me. You'll find other collabs on Not For Sale from Drum, Bodega Bams, Joey Badass, and more. Yeah, so shout out to the Bay, Dell, the Funky, Homo Sapien, and Amp Live are about to drop 16 tracks for their new album, Gate 13. Producer Amp Live and Dell are longtime friends. Ever since they worked on videotapes, the song videotapes from Radiohead's In Rainbows remixes, they did the special like hip hop. You know, remix thing. You you heard a Radiohead that got yeah. that song Creep mm-hmm. uh, that you really like. But um, yeah, so they did the remixes together. If you want to get a feel for the uh, what's on Gate 13, go and check out the song Will of Fortune. Aww. All right. Coming with his seventh studio album, Royce the Five Nine is set to release Book of Ryan. Royce said on Twitter about the completion of his album, I shed several tears after listening to the final <laughs> masses of my album. 
<laughs> took everything I had to make it. Please listen to this shit. He didn't say that at the end. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> but one of the Throw most respected in. artists in <laughs> hip hop. <laughs> the one of the most respected artists in hip hop, J. Cole, is featured on the Book of Ryan. Um, teaming up on the track uh, called Bo Blow Boat. I haven't heard it yet, but uh, I'm going to check that out. And also, Ashley Sorrell also helps out on the song Stay Woke. And then Chris at Michelle, she dropped an Chris album Zett. last week, and I missed it, so I had to mention it on uh, the show this week. She released a new album called Out of Control, 11 tracks on this one included, um, including a previously released single called Strong Black Woman. It came out shortly after she performed at the Trunk, Trump, the <laughs> Trunk, <laughs> Trump inauguration, <laughs> causing her to plead for forgiveness from her fan base. Um, another single on uh, on the album is called No Choice. Out of Control is Chrisette's sixth studio album. Uh, some say this album is much like her very first album, I Am Back. Or oh, excuse me, good. I Am Back in 2007. <laughs> it's called I Am. That's the name. Yeah, of the, right. <laughs> <laughs> they got that song, I'ma Be Okay. I like that joint. That's, yeah. that's, my, that's my cut. But anyways, this is the drop for Friday. I want you guys to go and check that out. Give it a listen. Give it a bit of your time. Tell us why you love it or hate it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Bandit Box. Right. Any comments, is... Myron? You still with me? You had one. You had one job too, Shay. One. <laughs> yeah. We want to talk after the show. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the time where we go into the clip of the week. One of my favorite parts. I, um, you know, I, I test Uh-oh. everybody's knowledge on Facebook and Instagram. All right, um, Facebook. I started out with L.A. until, you know, L.A., she had to, you know, she yoked me up off the air. Like, you know, listen, to, you to... embarrass me one more time <laughs> on the air with this movie stuff. So that's why I'm, I'm asking you to help a brother out because I'm tired of getting beat up by this woman over here. <laughs> I don't. You call for it. Just saying. <laughs> listen, y'all, Facebook. This is the time, Instagram, this is the time for y'all to try and get this. Even though you're probably going to get it before me, but you never know. I might win this time, you know, I'm just saying. So. All right, so let's go ahead and rock the clip. Hey, Myron, you know your movies, right, bro? Get, get at me. Let's, let's see how we do. All, All right, right we'll ahead. see if y'all can guess this clip. movie. Let's see if y'all got this. All right. You know, you know this is the part I was, I was afraid of the most. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see um, if Instagram and Facebook, y'all can guess, guess before me. This is from. We'll see. All Here right. Go. Is it? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. wait. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. He had it. one job. He had one job. One. Well, actually, he has like plenty, but. I got like a ton of jobs. <laughs> So we're expecting uh, technical difficulties. Uh, please stand by as we. Uh, you okay. had one job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All here right we go. now we now we, we got it. Go okay. Yeah, okay. Let's get some taste. I wonder if she could sing. Fine, she is. She doesn't have to know how to sing. No, that's right. Hey, watch it now. I want you to stay out of set tonight. I want you to work the floor. What for? I want to know when that sweet thing shows up. You see her? Come get me, cool? Cool. I'll come get you, let you know the girl's there. Not if I'm with my other babes. That wouldn't be cool. I don't want to break their hearts. So we ought to have, like, a signal. A password. Okay, what's the password? You got it. Got what? The password. Password is what? Exactly. The password is exactly? No, it's... Hold it, hold it. Slow down. The babe walks in. You see her. I see her. You come get me. I come get you. And I probably have a couple little sexes on standby. So you glide by me and you say what? Okay. The password is okay? Fire alarm concern. Damn it, say the password. What? Say the password, onion head. The password is what? That's what I'm asking you. It's the password. The password is it? The password is what? It. You just said so. The password isn't it. The password is what? Got it. I got it. Right. Get it right. What? Okay, so that's the clip. So <laughs> I went okay. back on y'all, but you know yeah. it's a classic. Okay. It's a rock classic. I kept the main character out the scene, but that is one of the the funniest scenes in the movie. 
You know what it is, Myron? It's right on the tip of my, oh, blessed Lord. <laughs> Call on him, Mario. I had, you, wait a minute. Now, in my instance, I had one job. <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone in I'm Facebook? Stuck. It's right there. It's right guess there. It? Anyone watching in Facebook and Instagram right now? Can you guess what that movie was? Yes, yeah, someone please, it. please get this. Please get this. <laughs> All right, L.A.? So uh, <laughs> the movie is I Don't Know. Okay. Because I don't even have wow. a, I have no clue. <laughs> yeah. Mm, 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 mm. That is Purple Rain, 1984. What? My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, Jesus. What? That was Purple Rain. <laughs> wow. I feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you did my boy Prince wrong on that one. I, but that's I it's all good. I had, I had to get a Prince right. clip in there at least one time, you know. But that was Purple Rain. Wow. I don't even know what to say about myself. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Like, and you know what? It's good that you left the main character. Of course, you left Prince out because we would all got it as soon as we heard Prince's voice. Yeah, he ain't in, but what, three movies? <laughs> that was good. That was a good one. That was good. Okay. Anywho, so leading up to the BET Awards 2018 is the BET Experience. Over three days, June 21st to the 24th, you can see some of the hottest artists perform like LL Cool J with his fine self and DJ Z Trip. Don't know that. Ludacris, Ray Shimmer, Chris Brown, SZA, Neo, ASAP Ferg, Nipsey... Hustle, or yeah, Hustle, Playboy Cardi, Ella Mae, Kamaya, and Wonder Girl. Now, things don't just stop with music. The BET experience includes a celebrity basketball and dodgeball game, Genius Talks, Kicks, Ex- what? Kicks Experience, BET X, House of Fashion and Beauty, and more. Pre sale tickets are on sale right now. Okay. So they got dodgeball? You get to see celebrities hit each other in the head. I love dodgeball. I can't say I like getting hit, but I just That'd I like I like enough. dodgeball. I would like to actually see the I, I like to watch. see the celebrity dodgeball game. Yes, that, you know that's not oh, that's not normal. Yeah, like <laughs> you don't usually see something like that. I think but it's um, cool. yeah, it's pretty cool. So it's been twenty six years since the Eddie Murphy led movie Boomerang knocked us over the head, showing us black swag and sophistication on the screen. For those of you who've never seen Boomerang, Eddie Murphy plays a successful executive and player with the ladies named Marcus who gets beat at his own game. He starts an affair with an attractive boss named Jacqueline, played by Robin Given. Shout out to Robin Given. <laughs> with the body, you know, I've seen her in a rage in Harlem. She was looking pretty good in the red dress, I gotta say. But anyways... <laughs> <laughs> So she turns Marcus out, making him look like a fool. And (laughs) not to give too much away of the movie, everything changes. But anyways, BET Networks is planning to reboot this classic film as a scripted series ordering 10 episodes under the new president of BET called Scott. His name is Scott Mills. Shout out to Scott Mills. Um, Very little is known about the series at this point. Right now, there are no producers or writers attached to the show. So I ask this to everybody in the room, everybody on this panel right now. Um, are you co-signing this reboot and or do you think they should uh, just leave it alone I go I'll go first okay go ahead now, here, this is my this is my thing guys about reboots in general sometimes you sometimes you have to leave well enough alone you know I just I think that Sometimes Hollywood's run out of fresh ideas, mm-hmm. so let's go. Let's go pull from the past. Like, in there's more hits. Mm-hmm. You know, there's not as many. There's more misses than hits. Is what I'm trying to say. Right. Right. That and I was, did not and, take and off. From, <laughs> it, it, right, it, it, and that's just me. It's it's just like, and since I'm a sports guy, I'll, I'll give it a sports analogy that means the same thing. It's for those guys that try to go to the NBA straight out of high school. Unless you have the real talent, there's more misses than there are hits. 
for every LeBron James, there's ten there's ten kids that didn't make it. You know, for for every series that you you reboot, there's all these that you wasted time in. First of all, if you've never seen Boomerang, shame on you. Right. Nah. Shame on everybody who's never seen Boomerang. Shame on you. That's shame, just my personal shame, opinion. Right. But, shame. I'm with you on that one. But I just, you know, but just real quick, I just think sometimes you got to leave well enough alone right. unless you have the right production. That's what I was going to say, yeah. Right. It's got to be the perfect storm. It's got to be the perfect storm. I agree with <laughs> That's you, That's just me. I, re- I agree with you on that. I think they should leave it alone, but I would say it would be okay if they have the right director behind the scenes, um, the right people to work with, and that is going to be hard to come by to bring back something that was such a hit and make it a hit again. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it would be a hit again on the second run. Like, lightning is not going to strike twice in the same place. So I don't Especially agree. with the type of actors right. you had. Mm-hmm. Talking about Boomerang, especially with with the type of acting you had in that movie. Right. Yeah. You had, who you have in that movie? You had Eddie Murphy. No. You had Halle Berry. You had Robin Givens. You had uh, David Allen Greer. You had Martin Lawrence. David Allen Greer. All yeah. the big names. I mean, <laughs> like, come on. those some heavy shoes to fill. And we're talking about doing 30 minutes on BET. Yeah. Now, I'm not shading on BET. Well, but I kind of am, on but BET. I'm shading on them. Because it's like, <laughs> yo, the production on BET hasn't been very good. And I, I read a report with, about the new um, president of BET, and mm. he's really looking at trying to compete now with Netflix and HBO. Because right. I can't remember at any point BET having any show being nominated for any Oscars, yeah, for any television series or anything like that. Right. So, you know, it, this will be interesting to see. Now, to bring back Boomerang... And put it on BET. I'm kind of like, when you look at Boomerang, you got the scene with um, Grace Jones. Mm-hmm. She's talking about, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, right, right. Up something like this. I'm like, how are you going to do this show on like network television? Like, this is something uh, that I could, I could definitely be down with, like maybe on Netflix or HBO. And I hate to say it, BET, but I just don't trust you with this. I don't, I don't trust either. Right. You know, th- they have some other things that I'm excited about. They have a show that they're doing about Don Cornelius yeah. that I think is going to be really cool. Oh, yeah, I've original. heard about that. Yes. I'm absolutely. excited to see that. But when you go and reach into the bag of the classics, it's like you got to come with it. So mm-hmm. I would trust HBO. I would trust stars with it. I would trust. Um, like I said, Netflix. I would with trust it. Netflix before they even give it to BET, so, which is terrible. But. It's, yeah, it's terrible, but it is what it is. I mean, you know, they're really gonna go all out, and I mean, thirty minutes, thirty minutes is not gonna be enough. And you got that you know, all them raggedy ass BET commercials. <laughs> I love BET. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love BET, but let's be honest. I mean, I, I bet you the dude who just got the job, I just mentioned his name, the new president. Yeah. He got. He had to go home after getting that new seat and say, listen, <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't have anything really at BET. Name one show that's a staple on BET that people go and go out of their way to watch. Right. The, There's the, no I think the way you worded it. The way you worded it is perfect. That people go out of their way to watch. Right. Yeah. Nobody Every watching week anything. Is that the thing only watch. thing people went out of their way with was the new edition movie. That, people right. made sure right. they was home to watch that series over those three nights. And they need to produce more content like that if yes. they're gonna, you know, survive and, and do whatever they need to do. They had a lot of good shows on there. They had um they had a show with you know with Charlie Murphy. Now this was before he died, but the show got canceled. It was like hot, we we got we must do better, like hot ghetto mess or something like that. Mm-hmm. We got to do better. That show was hilarious. <laughs> they could have kept that going. BET they they pick up shows and then they drop them. They pick yeah, up shows yeah. and then they drop them. It's like you don't know what you're gonna get. Yeah, I agree. I agree. They gotta. They really have to come with it. So, but on, they need to leave Boomerang right. alone. But on, on one hand, I'm like yes, bring it back. But on the other hand, I'm like. Who would you trust your baby with? You know what I'm saying? And I don't think no. BET would be the baby that I would trust. Right. With. There you go. I think BET with this new leadership, what they would need to do is prove themselves with the quality that they can bring to BET with other things first. And then when they improve their quality, then they can come back again with a conversation on Boomerang and based on what they're what they brought. Right. 
But right now, out out the gate, no, not at all. <laughs> Y'all can stop. <laughs> so listen, this story right here, I really, I'm concerned about this one. Okay, so for 15 years. A neighborhood in Chicago called Dunnings has worked to have a school built in their community. After fighting the good fight, they got what they wanted, except there is one problem. The city wants to build it on top of dead bodies. So (laughs) the site for this new uh, $70 million school will rest on top of an estimated... 38,000 deceased people in unmarked graves. I said 38,000 people. Okay. These bodies came from the Cook County poorhouse. Most of the people buried in the soil were patients in an insane asylum. People who were unable to afford funeral costs and others just weren't claimed by family members. So construction has already begun for what will either be a new high school or middle school. The new building is expected to be finished for the for the 2019-2020 school years. Now, the crazy thing is some bodies have been found intact with coffins. In another section, only bones have been found in a mass unmarked grave. So the question is, guys, <laughs> the question is, should they build this school on this grave site or should they find another spot for the school? Remember, this is 38,000 bodies right. unmarked. And they feel like they cannot get all them bodies out from, of there. From an insane asylum. Right. Perfect, perfect sound. Perfect background. <laughs> 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 I let's oh, no. Is tonight you ask me to come on with a question <laughs> like this? Okay, I, I got y'all. When I first heard this, I was just like, no, they they can't be serious. This is not real. They're not about to build a school on top of a grave site. And this is with unmarked bodies. It's not like they have headstones and you know buried right. No, it was from a poorhouse. They couldn't afford funeral costs. They couldn't afford certain things. And he just kind of just threw them. <laughs> 38000 Yeah. And they, like I said, they no. feel like they cannot get all the bodies out of there. They started digging. And they've already seen some stuff. But they're like, hey, we're just going to work around this. I mean, that is so disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. And I don't really know, like, what could be done. Because, I mean, 38000 bodies is a right. lot of bodies to, like... To just build to on, pick up uh, or to pick up and move. In the case that I'm trying to, you Ooh, know what I mean, like yeah, pick up and move them where, you know what I mean. But there was the conversation. Some are saying they want to pick up and move it, which is going to be hard to pick up and move, as you said, thirty eight thousand bodies, and or pick others up and move are saying where? right, but others are saying to leave it, just build the school yep. on top of I it. Knew that. But my yep. thing is, this is. This ain't gonna be like regular ghosts. Mm-hmm. Christina says, "Hell no, that's crazy." I'm, I'm with you. This is gonna I be agree. like crazy people ghosts, like insane asylum ghosts, like that's the kind of stuff you see in movie theaters. Like, yeah. no. All right, they're gonna. I, I, I guarantee you, there's some haunted yes. stuff going on around there. That school let is gonna say, be let known let me, let me as that. Yeah. It's not gonna be like regular ghosts. You gonna have a, how you gonna have a brand new school right. with ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> that don't make no sense. Usually it's like a lot of history there or something, you know. They gonna be like, this school has such an old soul. Hmm. Right. <laughs> and it's not gonna be like oh, cool. regular ghosts. <laughs> They're gonna be like insane asylum ghosts. Right. <laughs> so it's it's not like some old man. That used to come to the park that used to be there or something. And just there. <laughs> Looking for his park bench or something. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> Looking for it's his nice. park bench. It's going to be somebody in like, uh, you know, one of them medical gowns and stuff or whatever. Whatever they were doing. We can't do this to our kids. <laughs> well, they're about to do it because they said, We can't hey, do this to our kids. We don't have another spot you, for you. We got, got the budget. We're going to build on top of this whether you like it or not. But, but you obviously, as Christina said, um, they're not going to do it because they don't care at all. We, we already see how they don't care about the situation with the kids with the school shootings. They have not done a damn thing. Hey, if you can deal with some shootings, you can deal with some goals. <laughs> 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 that is not funny, right, but oh my gosh. Like, they're just gonna, they're not gonna be known as a great school for academics, you know, for their sports team. Nope. They're not gonna be known for that ever from the jump. Nope. They're gonna be known as the haunted school. 
And if anything <laughs> happens crazy in that school, <laughs> right. right? If anything crazy happens in that school, they they gonna be like, oh, it's a ghost. Like, you know, it's pranks you can get away with it. though. <laughs> you can get get away with a lot of pranks, but I'm not messing with that. Mm-mm. And no. they, they're, they're trying to decide whether or not the school is going to be a middle school or a high school. So don't me- oh. I guess if you I guess if you're going to build something, there, put, school, make it a high school. Make it a high school at least. Don't make put it the a middle school. school kids. They need to send ministers from every faith. Yes. in that school and bless that school. Right. No, no. I mean every Chicago. faith. They need ministers from every faith, and they need every single church mother. Right. I was gonna say though, no shade. Every to, single yes. I was gonna say no shade to Chicago though, but them kids ain't no punks. They not. That's true. They might run them ghosts out of there themselves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they thought the right. priest was gonna come down there and exercise. No, no, no. <laughs> the kids. <laughs> they said the we kids got are this. Like nope. We not having that. That's mm-mm, that's crazy. I'm not for it. I think they need to just find. But as but as you said, they already started making um, breaking ground and starting the construction process yeah. anyway. So they going forward with it. So y'all better be prayed up, little kids. Pray up. <laughs> because that is thirty eight thousand insane asylum souls. That's, that's under crazy. your school. That was, that was just some wild west rogue shit right there. Yeah, I mean to just throw the bodies like I don't. I I would hope. As at least how they present society to us that that would never happen today, but you know that's crazy. Usually, just I think they cremate the bodies that are like unidentified, right? Anybody know? Um, I yeah, I, I don't know them. because they're saying. But remember in the story, they said they found some with coffins and some were just bones. Obviously, right. nothing was cremated. So what you're saying is somebody got lazy. <laughs> it's, it's a poor, but it's also, but it's a know. poor house. Yeah. They couldn't afford funeral costs. They couldn't afford cremation costs, or afford to get a coffin and a headstone. The fact, hmm? I'll just say this: the fact that the story even said coffins amazed me, because in most cities mm-hmm. they just put you in a box. Right. Wow. If if you can't if you can't afford a funeral, they put you in a box. Right, like like she said, pine box. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, this is a crazy story. I, I want to see how this one turns out. I'm gonna follow this a little, oh, a little yes. longer because it's. I haven't seen any reports about how the people in the neighborhood feel about it. I just seen a bunch <laughs> of like the city, the city <laughs> stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I'm mean, I can only guess that they you know have the same opinion that we do. That hey, don't build it there right. or move the bodies somewhere else at least. And then where's the somewhere else? Um... Mm-hmm. Cremation. <laughs> They can right. just do the cremation, you just, know, process. But I bet you the city or the state or whomever pays for that is like, yo, that is expensive. Thirty eight thousand. You are, we done already gave you seventy million to build the school. We're not giving you Damn. no more money. That's a lot. But All hey, right. so well, on the other hand, seventy million. I hope that it's a great school. That the seventy million is going to go towards right. you know absolutely building, but filling it with the right equipment and books and things that these students right. are going to need. To succeed, so don't be skimping yeah. and being like, "Oh, the building is great, but they don't have the right equipment." Damn, so. damn a building! Make sure they right. have what they need. Right, exactly. You know what I'm <laughs> so, anyways, it's time to get unfaded on the box report. <laughs> Swiss told me let the beat rock. You know I gotta drop it. That was loud. My south side niggas that know me best. I feel like Ooh, me and Taylor that. might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. Goddamn. I made that bitch famous. Go ahead and make him famous, LA. So this story's been played out backwards and forwards at this point, but for those who do not know, Cleveland Cavalier Christian Christian. Wow. Tristan Thompson has been allegedly busted cheating on his girlfriend, Khloe Kardashian. A few nights ago, Thompson was seen on video in a New York City rooftop club with another woman. The pair was spotted leaving his hotel before the Cavaliers match up against the New York Knicks while Khloe waited to give birth to their first child together back in Cleveland. Another video surfaced from October of last year showing Tristan Thompson kissing two women in a hookah bar. Player, player. Ow. 
<laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> Chloe, <laughs> meanwhile, Chloe was running around three months pregnant. Since August of 2016, Tristan and Chloe have been linked together, but not without controversy. Allegedly, from the jump, Tristan's ex girlfriend, Jordan Craig, was pregnant during his affair with Chloe. Ooh, Jordan Craig gave birth to a baby boy named Prince. In December of 2016, Tristan was at Chloe's side for the birth of their daughter. It's also rumored that she has forgiven Tristan for the moment. Quote unquote, right? Quote unquote. Now, allegedly, the rest of Karda- the rest of the Kardashian slash Jenner clan don't feel the same. Even Kanye West supposedly threatened to kick his ass. Question is. Would you get involved in your family's cheating business? And if you caught your sister or brother-in-law's boyfriend or girlfriend cheating, would you tell? Mm. (laughs) Yeah, that was well placed. (laughs) What would you do? An unfaded trial story is cheating. Would you tell? (laughs) <laughs> so um now maybe this is not nice to say but i don't care about the kardashians don't care about the situation Whomped. that's how i feel about that yeah. but I'm gonna. but speaking on the issue of that the question would i tell um i <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Why? Why would you not? Tell? Yes and no. It depends. Okay, what would it depend who? on? That you on who? It depends on the rel- it, it depends on the relationship that you have with the person. It depends on that because if you and that person, whether they're family or friend, if you don't have that close of a relationship, sometimes that can backfire. And we've heard plenty of stories where the person tells them that, hey, this person has cheated on you or this person cheated or whatever, and it backfires. So I, <laughs> I don't know, because on one hand, they're grownups. They're going to do what the hell they want to do, whether you tell them or not. You know, like, they're grown. But I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, what did Christina say? Christina <laughs> said. It's such a destructive story. <laughs> right. So Christina says, you lose him how you got him. Ooh. Girl. That's exactly what happened with this she, Tristan Thomas. Right. She Tom, was yeah. with him while he was still with his ex, so I don't feel sorry for her. Good point, Christina. I didn't even That's think like, about that. Yeah, this is like a running thing with him, I guess, at this point. You do yeah. it twice. Yeah. So. She's just trying to save face at this point. Pretty much. Like, oh, I forgive him. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> No, that's why I said I don't really care about the Kardashians and that this whole entire situation. Such a destructive story. I don't. Do mm-hmm. I? <laughs> Such a destructive story. What's your point of view or your answer to this? Would you tell Myron? Prob- probably not. But let me let me let me say several things, and I speak from a position of strength. And yes, I did take a deep breath. Let me, okay, I speak from a position of strength. I, uh, when this story broke the other day, I had an opportunity to talk to a buddy of mine that writes for the Associated Press. And nice. And as soon as this, as soon as this story broke, guys, just so you guys understand, the entire national media and the local media that covers the Cleveland Cavaliers all looked at each other and started rolling their eyes because. We've seen just just like LA says she doesn't care. It, 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 there's a reason why, ladies and gentlemen, the Kardashian curse is real. Yeah, <laughs> listen. <laughs> you know, yeah, just, when they, when they just so down you here, all understand, the, the the Kardashian curse is real. I'm gonna I'm in in Shay, if you'll indulge me for seventy five yeah. seconds, go ahead. Go I'm going to tell you the story of a of a talented player named Chris Humphreys, who played for the Atlanta Hawks and the Brooklyn Nets. Mm. He fell in love with Kim. Kim left him, and his career was over. Mm. And then I'm going to tell you the story of a former NBA Sixth Man of the Year named Lamar Odom, who won Jeez. two NBA championships with the Lakers. Fell in love with Kim. She left him. Game over. Yeah. <laughs> 
And that was and, Chloe that time. And Lamar went, Chloe, that's correct. Thank you. And, you know, it is as soon as Tristan, as soon as it came through that Tristan was with Chloe, can I just tell you all as a Cavaliers fan, I could give two craps. You know why? Because the last time Tristan did this, the Cavaliers won the NBA championship in 2016. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but we got a new we got a thing in here with the Kardashians in the middle now. Right. It'd be something else. It was like some other but thing. See, but it, and, and what what's so crazy about how all that went down? We also noticed when that video came out, Chloe and not Chloe, Kim and uh, Kylie started doing half naked shots from where they were in uh, in Mexico, I believe. What they were doing was trying to divert the attention off the story. Mm. Oh, okay. Because their sister was getting played. See, once I heard that the baby was born healthy, I just threw my hand because at the end of the day, this is what they do. This is the destructive behavior. This mm -hmm. is why L.A. says she doesn't care. <laughs> I really know, don't. These are the, says the family ain't shit. So they just just yeah. ugh. it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like, but I'm to answer get the question, what I tell, what I tell, I'm probably I'm probably on the on that. It, it would depend. I know that's kind of a flaky answer, but what the oh, it's such a destructive story. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> destructive man right right what's up McCoy anytime you say anytime you, anytime you say Kardashian it just it makes my stomach hurt and mm-hmm I agree it, oh jeez yeah, but, but just the situation <laughs> yeah, in, but in, in general as like um, just anybody right you know you're with somebody and you see like you know your girl's sister's boyfriend like in the club somewhere <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying because most yeah. people aren't celebrities right and right. you know people aren't really paying attention and you know you just see them up there with two chicks like what do you do because i'm like For okay. sure, right because i'm looking out okay let me run through it i'm like okay i see him in the club with two girls first off i'm like do i let this nigga see me <laughs> Right, you know, you and, do I need, of and do I want plausible deniability? Because <laughs> right, like, did you know? And then I'm like, on the, and then I'm gonna go on and say, okay, you go home and you tell your girl, hey, you know, I seen so and so up in the club. Da, 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 da. First, she might say, well, what was you doing there? <laughs> 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 I was just dropping off some mail, or you know, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> dropping off some mail. Use that would play at the right. Theater. Dropping I'm off some mail to the owner of the club <laughs> and you know? the business. And if she don't what? say that, if she don't say, "Hey, you know, well, what was you doing there?" Because that might be what? one of the. That's definitely gonna be one of the my, questions. Why were you? Why were you? Why were you told me you was at work? And they saw. It, <laughs> why would you do it at the club? Oh man, I, uh, I was dropping the mail off to the to the owner. B. Yeah. I'm about to write that. To, I'm about to use that. You think I'm joking? I wrote that in my notebook. You better go on somewhere. So then you also got this. So you go and you tell your girl, "Oh, I seen so and so up there." She gonna be like, "Well, what did you do? Did you say something?" You know, because she gonna want you to defend her right. sister or her brother. Right. And then, if you do say something, it's like that. You know, gonna that guy's gonna be like, looking really? at you sideways, like, "Oh man, you you know, you know, messed up the bro code." We talk. You know, <laughs> we 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 talked about this a little bit on on some of the same thing on on my show, and it ends up being one of those you damned if you do and you damned, damned if you don't. don't. You just right. damned. <laughs> That's it's all you got to do is just hope you wasn't seen and just turn right the hell around. Whoop. I th I th and that's why <laughs> I, think, I think it depends on that relationship. But again, people are grown. They're just, it. Like. I don't know, y'all. But think about it. And it's, like a, it's like a domino effect. So let's say you go home, you tell your girl. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you know, you get through that whole thing. She's like, okay, I'm going to call my brother or my sister. Right? You're right. Then the brother or the sister get mad at you, get mad at the their own, you know, right. blood. 
And then Which now you got now you got a rift. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which I don't sibling. understand why they would. It's just it gets messier and messier and such, messier as you go along. So it's almost such, just like such a destructive story. <laughs> Listen, I think that say if it was my sister, God forbid, I would tell her because my sister and I, mm -hmm. or my best friend and I, we have that kind of relationship where we just we are we are honest like that with each other. But outside of that, I'm not getting myself involved in that. I ain't see shit. Okay, I plead the fifth. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know. So because I don't want to get you, involved. You were saying you like I wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't want to step in because that's a. I don't. And no. the hard part is, if it ever comes out, there's gonna be like, well, did y'all know anything? And that's did y'all see anything? Well, there was yeah, this one do, time yeah. back you in don't. right, right. <laughs> this is one time back in 2016 <laughs> in the summer. I was at you know, <laughs> I was at the club and. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I mean, so this whole time you held this away from me. Well, and you it was kind of dark in there. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't sure I wasn't if it really was really sure the if it was him. for the 2016 <laughs> NBA champions. I didn't know. If it was him. Right. And you know my eyes is kind of... There's a lot of tall people, you know. There's a lot of tall guys. I wasn't sure if it was he had him. the only oh, NBA goodness. player in town. They got the Knicks there. They got the Cavs there. There's a lot of they got seven the feet. There. Seven foot men out there. I don't know. This is all tall to me. <laughs> so we got... Uh, McCoy said, um, people only get mad at the news delivered because they are embarrassed. Mm. That is yeah. true. I yeah, 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 yeah. And especially if that person was like, see, I told you or if it's you know, especially if you kinda knew in the back of your head and it happens and to like kinda how did I not see this? Validated. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, yeah. it's different. It's like everybody knows it's different when you're in a situation. Cause when you're outside the situation, you got clarity like a motherfucker. <laughs> <Right>? But like, <laughs> when you in it, it's just shit is just foggy. Yeah. And just, it's hard, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I, I agree. So I get that. It's hard to make those tough decisions for most people. And it's embarrassing because you're like, man, that, that happened to me. You thought you understood what was happening. You thought you were on top of it. You thought you knew everything. And then to find out that you don't, it's like your reality gets shattered. So, yeah, so you kind of, that person's the closest person to you and the person there, so they're going right. to get the brunt of it. Just like in relationships, the husband and wife, they're they're both going to get the harshness of each other versus someone else that's a stranger just because they're just constantly around each other in the right. proximity of each other. So, And, and I, I had a situation, not that I knew or didn't know that I got cheated oh. on, but I had, you know, I had some family that saw ex-girlfriend while, you know, she wasn't an ex at the time, but she saw them at a, you know, at a mall with another dude or something. Mm -hmm. I don't really know the full story, but you know, they, you know, they pulled my coat to it, you know, much later, like, cause I had no idea. Oh. So I was like, why you ain't tell me? Why you ain't say nothing? Aww, <laughs> see, and there's so that. It's right. like, that's that. That's your immediate reaction. Like, you're supposed to tell me. You're supposed to have my back. You're supposed to do this. That. You know, but then if they said something, then it's still kind of like you in a relationship. Then you're trying to, you're hearing what the other right. person you're saying. And then right. you're like, you're supposed to trust the person you're with. Yeah. It's, it, it's yeah. one of the craziest situations. Yeah. And I think... <sighs> In the case of Kardashian and them, right? Such a destructive, <laughs> destructive story. <laughs> That's going to yeah. be a saying. We're just going to be like, such a destructive story. You got to have the accent on it. That's what too. it is, man. Such a destructive story. <laughs> or you got to have the, the like, British. We almost lost Lamar Odom because of Chloe. <laughs> yeah. Man, that was scary. Yeah. Lamar turned to, like, all jokes aside, like, he turned to drugs, and Kobe Bryant tells the story. That when he went to see Lamar Odom in the hospital, like v Vanessa, Kobe's wife, had to come in and pull Kobe out the room because Lamar was literally within an inch of his life. Like oh. he lost all his scruples because of that crazy, because of that crazy. Ooh, I almost see. Man, it's all right. We know <laughs> what we know. Man. We know such a destructive story. They so destructive. <laughs> and I know it was playing in the back of people's mind when they started mm -hmm. seeing Chloe. Yes. You know, at you know at, down at the queue. <laughs> like mm. you know what? and I don't want to that's ahead. why LeBron at, at first LeBron didn't want her anywhere near the locker room yeah. <laughs> LeBron was at first LeBron didn't want her anywhere near the locker room mm -hmm. it makes sense it makes yeah, sense at, at first 
You know, it's like they they do we do with that reality show. He didn't want them nowhere near. He didn't he didn't want that new his team and I don't blame him right and you know what people you know they kind of joke about it a little bit but the reality of it is there's like memes out there comparing the Kardashian family or, or the woman of the family to get out the movie like Stop. <laughs> it's terrible it's like <laughs> dang, you better get out because if you don't your career is gonna be lost you could possibly lose your life because Odin was so close yeah. and it was Tell scary you. And I mean, that, he, man, he fell hard career yeah. wise. Yeah. Well, so, that's just crazy. So, the yeah. Kardashians, I don't know what y'all got in y'all hoo ha's, but <laughs> it's freaking poison. It ain't helping. You know, Kanye <laughs> went crazy. He's not an athlete. You know, he lost his mind for a minute. <laughs> yeah. I think Kanye got some protective shield right. on his mind now, or something. I got love for Kanye, you know, but I look at the story and, and allegedly he said he was going to, you know, kick Tristan's ass and. All this stuff. Now we don't know if we really said that, but I'm just like, that. why would he want to be in the middle of that? Like, cause your because just, you see, who I would stay with. out of. T- I mean, just cause your girl is probably going off and doing whatever the hell she is, I'll be like, I'll just be like, mm, the reason why the reason why he <laughs> is probably doing that is because you see who he's with. He's going to right. be on the side of yeah, the Kardashians. You know, yeah, of course, I'm gonna ride with you, but I ain't gonna be out here like. Of course, he would. He has to. He ain't got to be out there like that. He don't he, have to say what he said. If, if you if he see said, who's on if his, he <laughs> if you see who is on his arm and who he has family ties so, with now, I, I feel what you're saying. I see LA. why he would. But y'all be feel here what like I'm that. saying too is like you could say, "Hey, I'm in support of my girl," but I am not gonna be out here vocalizing. Well, then that would not be the Kanye way. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, That's true. That would yeah. not be him. That's true. <laughs> He's gonna say, "I'm gonna kick his ass." <laughs> He's not gonna be like, I'm in support of my girl. He ain't gonna <laughs> like, I'm just saying, don't say nothing. That's the Jay move, though. Jay would never say nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Jay would just be like, okay, well, you know, it is what it is. You know. <laughs> right. Well, he got caught out there, so. Right. That's that why dude, he ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> that dude got lucky. <laughs> yeah. But you, yeah. but because Beyonce would have clean house on his ass. Nah, but you saw how Beyonce's performance was yesterday once she got to that part in one of her songs where she was like you try that shit again and she like everybody that was commenting on twitter it was like you felt that line in your soul like you knew that she was talking specifically or pacifically some people want to pronounce it that way <laughs> to him that to the point when jay-z came out I was just like he, knew, he looked nervous as hell like you like get your act together jay because she not playing <laughs> But the Kardashian family, poison. I don't know. I heard something. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if you heard something about this, Myron. But um, I heard something like Bruce was trying to switch back <laughs> <laughs> or wanted to switch back. It ain't that easy, huh? Well, I mean, once you lose the hot dog. <laughs> I mean, man, let me let me let me let me tell you something. Man. <laughs> ESPN. It, 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 ESPN See y'all stuck later in Instagram. <laughs> Go ahead. Like ESPN stuck their neck all the way out there for her, <laughs> for Kaylee. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like th- they gave her, they gave her a spirit award at the ESPYS, and and it's it, it, it to me, I don't consider it 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 it. it, it I don't consider Caitlyn Jenner a champion of the of of that community, you know, mm-hmm. because you're not overcoming any obstacles. You rich. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's the people who who have to struggle from day to day trying to, you know, figure things out for themselves and who they are and make these changes. You know, so you you want to play around with the process? Once again, that whole family is a destructive story. <laughs> yeah, just, that's <laughs> an example of another dude. Damn, you got a dude cross dress. Kanye lost his mind. Lamar <laughs> almost died in a whorehouse. Um, Chris Humphrey Literally. ain't got no career at this point. Not really. And then you got Tristan. Good. <laughs> Tristan that we're hoping and nothing crazy. And happened. Tristan's going through it right now. 
Well, yeah. thank God LeBron got him paid before this happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Damn, man. Oh, and LeBron Lord. saw that coming. He was just like, no, stay your moment. ass outside of this locker room. You know, we you know, you know, no, I, you know I, it, it wasn't LeBron who saw it coming. Who? It was Savannah. She saw that shit coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep that bitch out the locker room. I bet you it was her. Like, when he came home, like, yo, I, I heard... I heard <laughs> Chloe's gonna come down there. Yeah, <laughs> she was just like, uh, uh-uh, uh, no, nope. make sure, no, she does not get a free pass. Right. <laughs> yeah, I've I heard, get it. I've heard, I've heard some stories about Savannah checking some groupies. Hey, hey I believe it. You know, um, yeah, man. We, yeah, we had a I we had it. a conversation with somebody. We had I'm not gonna mention any names, but we had dinner with somebody who went down to the queue. Was yeah. a female, and she was saying how you know. Savannah and some of the wives aren't as inviting. And in the back of my mind, while she's telling me this story, I'm thinking to myself, like, oh. yeah. <laughs> Duh. For one, look at you. You're a pretty young lady, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Rich athletes everywhere. Like, how do you expect them to act? Why would they be you? so inviting? Yeah. Especially not knowing you from the jump. And I'm just wondering, I'm like, okay. And I didn't really get, like, why she was there. Like, because she wasn't really handling business. So <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, I'm a press person or I, yeah. I do this or I work at the queue or, you know what I mean? I'm executive down there. It was just like, you seem like just some girl with some tickets, like ended up with some VIP tickets or something was just back there. It's like, yeah, they're going to look right. at you sideways. Exactly. What you expect? I agree. <laughs> I was confused too when I heard. I was just like, um, so what were you there now? Because I damn sure would have been looking looking at you sideways too. I'd be like, who is this? Absolutely. Thing? Like, why is she? They here? know the game. They, <laughs> yeah, Savannah knew this from high school, college, whatever it was. Like, she, hey. Go ahead. And, and normally she's very reserved. Right. Normally she's super reserved. Yeah. But they say every so often she lets it loose. <laughs> she lets you right. know what's up. She gonna let right. you run over that, and, but that's why LeBron looks so good. I think she has a lot to do with how the family unit looks. To be honest, absolutely. Like a huge, like she's probably the main one of why LeBron doesn't look like he's been caught up in a lot of bullshit as far as like with females or whatever out in the streets. And I, hey, I don't want to discredit him because maybe he's, you know, he's got some, you know, some knowledge in the game about himself to keep himself away and out of certain situations so yeah. that he don't look crazy because. You know, this is a business, and you ain't too far gone to see that yet. All right, right. so that's that's from Purple Rain. Shout Absolutely, out to Purple Rain. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think of uh, I got it. I think of that movie Girls Trip with the guy. Yeah, you know, yeah. he was cheating, and they was trying to get that that coin. Yeah, you know, so hey, let's keep the cheating under wraps. Not that LeBron's cheating. I'm not saying that, but you know, it looks better when you're a unit. Yeah, like that. But yeah, good show, y'all. Yes. Yes. This is the Unfaded Podcast presented to you by Bandit Box, where we listen to you and ignore you all all at at the the same same time. time. We want you to like, (laughs) share, and follow Bandit Box on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Bandit Box. That's B-A-N-D-E-D-B-O-X. For more news and hip-hop and R&B, the growing site, go to banditbox.com. Yes, and if you need any advice or you have any story recommendations for us that you want us to bring up on the show, please send us an email to banditbox at gmail.com. That's B-A-N-D-E-D-B-O-X at gmail.com. All right. And you You can listen to the Unfaded (laughs) Podcast every week. On Stitcher, Google Play, iTunes, TuneIn, and of course the Bandit Box website, BanditBox.com. If you're listening to us on iTunes and on Stitcher, do us a favor. Scroll down, rate it, give it a five star or whatever it is or, you know, whatever you feel is right. But go ahead, rate it, leave a comment. It helps get the show out to even more people so they can enjoy yes. what we do here Please every share. week. We're trying to get more content and more shows going. Um, on the Bandit Box Network, Thank so uh, you. that only helps support that. So make sure you uh, you go ahead and uh, give the rating. Yeah, and we gotta say shout out to um, all those who commented, Christina, Donnie, McCoy, everyone that's hopped in on Facebook. Thank you for being a part of the show. Thank you, Myron, uh, for being a part of the show. This is really, 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 yes. really good. 
Go ahead. Um, but you can find me, the L A Bailey, on Instagram and Facebook at the L A B A I L E Y, and just add an underscore to that when you want to find me on Twitter. And make sure you go shopping again on closet18.com. That's closet18.com, and use coupon code Banded Box for ten percent off your entire order. Tell them where they could find you at, Myron, so they could find your show, find out what you do. Absolutely. The Big Time Sports with Myron podcast airs every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern on Facebook Live. Also, tonight, actually at 11 o'clock, uh, I'll do my show, Off Day Thoughts. We'll talk, we'll talk about the Colin Kaepernick situation. We'll talk about the Cavs today and other topics in sports in general. But always, Facebook Live, you can link up to my page, Byron Colson. You can find the show there. It's an honor to be with you guys tonight. Definitely. I really mean that. I had a lot Thank of fun. You. Definitely. And how do you spell the last name so they know? It's, so M Y R O N. G H. Yep. G H O L S O N. Okay, so. All right. So Myron Golson. All right. You can find Big yep. Time Sports with Myron. I'm going to be on there tonight in the room. So that, that's what I do late at night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen to my boy do a show. But anyways, I am your host, Shay One. You could find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Real Shay One. That's at the Real Shay One. Um, again, I want to thank everybody for rocking with us yes. every week. We always have a lot of fun um, kicking it with y'all. And um, anybody, anything else you guys want to say before we get out of here? Uh, make sure you share this with your friends if you're in the in the room or um, any other time. Just share any of our episodes with them so that we can get this show out to more people and have better conversations on it. Right. All right, y'all. So we will catch all of you next week for episode number 75. Peace out. Later. You can say bye, man. <laughs> <laughs>